Good day everyone and welcome to my class. For today's topic, it's all about formulating rule in finding the nth term in an arithmetic sequence. Observe this number sequence. If you notice, there is a constant difference of 2 between the terms. This number sequence is an example of arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a set of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. Each number in the sequence is called term. We have 2 as the first term, 4 second term, 6 third term, 8 fourth term, 10 fifth term, 12 sixth term, and so on and so forth. Now, let us work on this. Find the next three terms. I think this will be easy for you because you just simply add 3 to get the preceding number. We have 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And 15 plus 3 is 18. Where 3 is the first term, 6 second term, 9 third term, 12 fourth term, 15 fifth term, and 18 is the sixth term. Now, what if we are asked to find the 24th term? Of course, you can do that by adding 3 until you reach the 24th term. But, it will take a lot of time. To save time, we need to get the end rule for this sequence. To do that, I want you to take note of this acronym. We have the D and A. D represent the constant difference between the terms and the term number or the position of the number and A is the first term. In this number sequence, the constant difference is 3 and remains because we don't know yet the end term that we're looking for. A represent the first term, which is 3. Now, try to imagine that there is a number before the first term. How will you get that? Very good. By simply subtracting the first term by the constant difference of the terms. We have 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Using this idea, we can now have this formula. D, the difference, times the nth term, plus A, the first term, minus D, the difference between the term. Using this, we can now create or formulate the nth rule for this sequence. To do that, just simply give the value of each variable. We have D, the difference between the term is 3. N remains because we don't know yet the term or the nth term that we're looking for. We have A, the first term, which is 3, minus 3, which is the constant difference between the term. Now, let us solve. Since 3 minus 3 is inside the parentheses, that means we need to subtract first. We have 3 minus 3 is equals to 0. Then, plus 3n. Therefore, the n rule for this number sequence is 3n plus 0. And we can simplify this as 3n. That will be now the n rule for this number sequence, 3n. Now, let us try to test whether the n rule that we created, or 3n, is applicable to all. If that's the case, 
That means our answer is correct. Let us try to get the fourth term. We have 3n. Since we need or we try to get the fourth term, n will be replaced by 4. So we will have 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is equals to 12. Correct. Let's go now for the fifth term. We have 3n. Since we're looking for the fifth term, n will be replaced by 5. That will be now 3 times 5 is equals to 15. That is correct. And for the sixth term, we have 3n. n will be, will be replaced by 6 because we're looking for the sixth term. That will be now 3 times 6 is equals to 18. Now, since 3n or the nth rule that we create is applicable to all, we can now get the 24th term. If we have 3n, n will be replaced by 24 because we're looking for the 24th term. We will have 3 times 24. 3 times 24 is equals to 72. Therefore, the 24th term in this sequence is 72. Now let us try to do this for better understanding. For number 1, find the next 3 terms. We have 1, 5, 9, blank, blank, blank. So if you notice, the constant difference between the terms is 4. So that means we need to add 4 to get the preceding numbers. We have 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. And 70 plus 4 is 21. We are 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, and 21 are the 4th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th terms. Now always remember the DNA, difference, number term, and the first term. In this number sequence, the constant difference between the terms is 4 and remains because we don't know yet the number or the nth term that we're looking for and 1 is the first term. Now, to get the number between the first term, all you have to do is to subtract the first term by the constant difference. So we have 1 minus 4 is equals to negative 3. Now we can have or we can now create the end rule for this sequence. Let us substitute. We have now d, which is 4, n remains because we don't know yet the nth term that we're looking for. Plus, first term is 1 minus the constant difference between the terms is 4. Now let us solve. 1 minus 4 is equals to negative 3 plus 4n. Now we can simplify this as 4n minus 3. Let us try to test if the uh, nth rule that we created is correct. If it is applicable to all, that means our answer is correct. Let us get first the fourth term. So if we have 4n minus 3, n will be replaced by 4 since we're looking for the fourth term. 4 times 4 is equal to 16 minus 3 is equal to 13. Let us now try to get the fifth term. We have 4n minus 3 is equal to n will n will be replaced by 5 since we get or we're trying to get the fifth term so you will have 4 
times 5 minus 3. 4 times 5 is 20. Minus 3 is 17. That means we're correct. Let's go now with the last one. The sixth term. We have 4n minus 3. n will, will be replaced by 6. Since we're looking for the sixth term, we have now 4 times 6 is minus 3. We have 4 times 6 is 24. Minus 3 is 21. Again, we're correct. That means 4n minus 3 is the entry for this sequence. Since our answer is correct, let us now try to find the 24th term in this sequence. To do that, we have 4n minus 3 is equals to 4 times 24. Since we're looking for the 24th term, minus 3 4 times 24 is 96 minus 3 is 93 therefore the 24th term in this series is 93 i hope everything is clear to you goodbye until next time